Hey folks, I just got this in the mail. It's the new Gen 2 Firebox Micro Salt and Pepper Grinder. This was sent to me by Firebox to review, but before we do that, let's go ahead and test it out and make some breakfast. Just an easy breakfast today, folks. Nothing too complicated, nothing too fancy. I've got it locked and loaded for this test. I'm breaking out Old Faithful for this meal. It's been a while since I used this uh, G2. Now, if you think I'm using too much fuel, it's because I am. It's only 20 degrees out today. If you've watched my egg test videos, you know how important it is to uh, oil your pans before use. I'm using a little bit of bacon fat to get the job done. Mm. Now doesn't that look perfect? Gosh, this bacon turned out really well. Doesn't that look delicious? I can see why it's called micro. There's a bit of a technique to this. It grinds really smooth for being so tiny. All right, so let's pause here and get back to the review. This Gen 2 version now comes with a Ranger band and two rubber end caps. These rubber end caps are really useful in keeping any stray ground salt or pepper off of your gear. It's pretty nifty. It seems to fit very well and secure. This is really well thought out. So what's the point of the Ranger band, I wonder? Uh, this compartment looks like it's made out of plastic. I'm guessing the stainless steel ends are there to protect it from falls. Hmm, makes sense. These compartments come apart way too easy. Oh, 
Now I know the reason for the Ranger Band. It would be a complete disaster if this splits open during your travels. Hence the Ranger Band. Nice fix. You know, it snaps apart so easily, but yet it feels so secure. So strange. Let's compare it to my grocery store grinders. It's like Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper had a baby. Definitely smaller and lighter. And I also like that it's all in one, no separate containers. Here's some specs. The micro grinder only weighs 2.8 ounces empty with a length of four and three eighths inches or roughly about 11.11 .11 centimeters. And also a width of one and a quarter inches or 3.2 centimeters. You need a snapping motion rather than pulling to open these compartments. Let's fill them up. This looks to be about a teaspoon to fill this up. It's a pretty painless process. Nice. So let's check out the grind. Pepper is a nice combination of coarse and fine ground. Man, you can really smell that pepper. The salt is ground finely, which is nice. You know it'll stick on your food and not bounce off like granular salt. That's a good thing, right? So after using it a few times, there are a couple of things to note. When you grasp the bottom half, make sure you're squeezing on the clear plastic section. From what I can tell, the stainless steel protection is glued on the clear plastic. From my experience, I know that getting metal and plastic to adhere to each other can be very challenging. So make sure most of that pressure is on that clear plastic. Definitely try not to death grip the other half. I did that and the other compartment popped off. You'll need to try to squeeze only the center stainless steel section. It was mentioned on the firebox site that the rubber caps will fit the Gen 1. Please check out the product page for more information. My initial impression of this product is positive. It's well built and the ceramic burrs are solid. It's definitely a luxury item for camping or backpacking, but it's a must have if you really want to enhance your food flavor on the trail. Time will tell on how well it holds up. As always, I'll leave a product link in the description if you want to check it out. Anyway, back to breakfast. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you want to see what I do with this other grinder for a future video, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and have a good burn.